If you haven't already noticed, the text is kind of tiny on this device screen. I mean, my eyesight is terrible, so I really need it to be a lot bigger. Luckily for us, there is an attribute that we can declare to change the text size. Oh, but wait, there is an error down here. It says the computer wasn't able to understand my XML. Double checking the code, I see this new line that we added is actually appearing in black font, whereas everything above it has blue for the attribute name and red for the attribute value. So there's something wrong with this line. Oh wait, I see it now. Forward slash and the closing angle bracket are on this line up here. This is actually a common beginner mistake to add the attribute after the tag has been closed. Technically, this is like hanging out in XML limbo or something because it's not tied to an XML element. What we really want is to copy these symbols and move them down here. Ah, that's better. So there's no error and this is valid XML and then our font is bigger. Woohoo! It's much more readable now. Note how the text size is set to be 45 SP. SP stands for Scale Independent Pixels. It's a unit of measure similar to DP, which makes the app look consistent across different devices of different densities. Now, SP is only used for fonts because it adjusts based on their user's preferences and settings for text size. Let's look at that now. Let me show you where the setting is. Go to the Settings app, and then tap on Display. And then there's an the option for font size. If you click on that, you can see the different font sizes. If I click on huge, then it increases the font size of everything. So always use SP to declare your font sizes so it will scale up or down according to the user's preference. In a moment, you'll change the text size of the text view. However, I first wanted to show you one thing. This is the material design spec. Material design is a new design language developed by Google to help people create consistent, and beautiful apps across different devices and platforms like web and mobile. The design specification, or design spec for short, highlights the best practices for designing your app. It provides guidance on the layout of your app, visual style, imagery, animations, and much more. There's also a section on typography or fonts. It lists a whole bunch of information here that you can read later, but the most important thing is this guide here that talks about the recommended text sizes. If you're displaying a really big header, you can use some of these text size values. If you're trying to do a title or some body text or a caption, you can use some of these sizes. This will help guide you on what types of values you can pick depending on what your use case is. But be careful because if you pick too many type sizes or styles in your app, it can be really overwhelming for the user. So just pick a couple of styles to display the information that you want. When you change the text size for the text view, try a couple of these values here. Go ahead and change the text view font size using the material design spec. And then if you're up for a challenge, you can try learning about the text appearance attribute from the Google Plus Android Dev Pro tip that I've posted below. And then you can try this in the XML visualizer as well. The link to the XML visualizer with the code for you to get started is linked below.